Hey Packer fans, it's been a while since I've made a video and right now I'm here to take some time out of my busy, busy day to be able to bring some Packer content for you guys. This is on basically the Green Bay Packers rookie forecast. I have made several videos in the past about uh, the Packers rookie fork coming from WalterFootball.com. I would encourage you to go. I would encourage you to go and check out WalterFootball.com for some rich information on football. And this is a um a generally a yearly thing of where Walter um, makes rookie forecasts for each of the thirty two teams. And we're going to focus solely on the Green Bay Packers because we are Green Bay Packers fans. And you can go and check out other teams' rookie forecasts. A link will be in the description for um, everyone to catch and see this and you can read the material for yourself on your own time but I want to be able to go over this really quickly in hopes to maybe spark some discussion on some of the things be, um, pertaining to Green Bay Packers and particularly the Packers rookies for the 2022 class. That's why I'm here to make this video and to start to kick things off Walter has for his solid starter it's Koi Walker the inside linebacker from the Georgia Bulldogs um, I think this is a pretty good pick here for the uh, for Walter picking Quay as to be, as to be a potential solid starter right out of the gates for the Packers. I think Quay has a lot of potential to be a very good solid starter this year. Definitely, definitely in the future. I really like his skill set. I liked the pick when we selected him twenty second overall in the first round, and then for most likely to bust, he took Devonte Wyatt. The other Georgia player that we took in the first round, and I got to say that I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all that he took uh, Devonte to be the uh, most likely to bust candidate because uh, you have the character concerns there. You have some issues with with uh, with Devonte that I touched up on a previous video. Um, there was some concerns about his length. There were some concerns about his um, ability to be able to play in the three four scheme. So that's probably one of the reasons why he's most likely to bust. It's mostly probably mostly because of the off the field concerns. Uh, but I think that with Devonte joining a great locker room such as the Green Bay Packers, I think bodes really well for Devonte and what he could be um, and what he could be able to do um, in such a good locker room, a good supporting cast of people. So he stays out of trouble. And then for the potential boom pick, he went with Christian Watson, our second round pick. And I gotta say, this is a pretty good one here too. Christian has got a lot of potential. He really, truly brings a really good skill set to this team. He's fast, he's quick. Uh, there are some concerns, of course. Uh, there are concerns with just about every player that you draft. But I think Christian has got a lot of potential. He's gonna be, he's, he's got a lot of potential to be very good in this offense. And I think that a lot of people would agree with uh, me as well. And future depth player, he took Zach Tom, the versatile offensive lineman out of Wake Forest. I think this is a pretty good selection here uh, for a future depth player, and I think that this is very good. I think that uh, Zach is definitely definitely going to be a very good depth player now on the interior offensive line. He might even be able to play offensive tackle. We would have to be able to see how things go, see how his skill set transitions uh, from an off from a college offensive tackle to the pros. I think is most likely to be an inside player. I think he will be a backup center to Josh Myers. That is my guess. Uh, there's some other guys that are some good candidates to be future, to be great future depth players. Uh, Romeo Dobbs, I think, is a pretty good one. Possibly Samori Ture, the uh, second, the seventh round receiver that we drafted. He's got some potential to be a future depth player. Sean Ryan, the offensive guard, uh, offensive tackle that we took in the third round, he is another one that I would think that would be a good another future good good future depth player. But I think that he's most likely going to be a starter. So I think that's maybe why he selected Zach Tom, because I think that's probably where I think things are going to be going uh, for the Packers. Is that Zach is brought is going to be brought in for mostly for depth, where as Sean is going to be a potential starter for the Packers. So I like these picks here for the Packers. The potential uh, bust, I kind of have a disagreement with, um, but Devonte does, have, by virtue, does have those off the field concerns, which could be a problem, uh, a potential problem for the Packers. I mean, some guys with bad character 
did go on to be busts in the NFL. And uh, one of them was, uh, the one that, that comes to mind is Robert Kimdichi. Uh, he was drafted in the late first round by the Arizona Cardinals, and the unfortunate character concerns got him, and that is why there are some legitimate concerns with uh, the player, regardless of the skill set. Kim Dietschy had a good skill set, and he wound up being a bust because of the character concerns, and the transition from the from college to the pros didn't translate too well. So I understand where Walter is coming from on this. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Like I said, uh, maybe we can get a good discussion going in the comments about some of our rookies and what you agree with or disagree with about who is going to be a solid starter, bust, um, contributor, depth player. Um, anything is open for, discuss for discussion about the Packers rookies in general. Go Pack, go!